Good afternoon, everyone. Today, I just got to go uh, move some sod off the sidewalk. A lady wants it done right uh, right today, I guess. Um, we are starting our cleanups next week, and she doesn't wait until wait next week. She's afraid someone's going to trip over the sod and sue her. So uh, I'm going to go do that right now. Just a few pieces that are on the sidewalk. I'm just going to put them back to where they should be. Um, it's one of them that it was the last snowstorm that I grabbed a hold of some of the edge of that driveway and and I normally don't even plow that driveway but she was all worried about people getting in and out of her house even though she doesn't go anywhere and uh, so I went and plowed it and I didn't really know where the driveway was at because I couldn't see it so I'm gonna go uh, finish that or uh, fi finish that yeah so I'm gonna go uh, fix that little bit of sod and then we're gonna go check the river level. What's on your mind? I see that you are struggling Why wasting time to try to fix this on your own? You said you'd be alright, and around the corner is another day. Although I know that's a lie, I'm waiting for you to give it up. There is some hidden love, hidden love, hidden love just for us.
Okay, that little project's done. It didn't take much, maybe five, 10 minutes, something like that. And uh, that'll keep the lady happy, and we'll be back there in about two weeks. Because uh, there's still some snow around there, and we don't really do a clean up there. And we used to do her neighbor, but we raised the price on her neighbor, and she didn't like the price rate, so she quit us which uh, we kind of figured that was going to happen. But the reason why we raised the rate on the neighbor is because uh, she wants to talk to us for about an hour. Well, we don't have an hour to sit and talk with a, every single customer because that's all we'd have time to do is just talk to the customers. And she just didn't understand why we wanted to charge so much more money. We tried to tell her and she just didn't understand it. So, so, and, you know, she might be back because I think it's her son-in-law that's going to be cutting the grass and until he gets tired of uh, dealing with it and then that lady will be next back to us again. So uh, let's go check on uh, river levels now. Okay, this is the back side of the first dam in our uh, area that where the, there's three dams together. And I cannot get close to the front side, but I will. there is a spot where I can get down to it and zoom in on it. Um, probably can't hear it from the wind coming against the camera, but it's pretty loud. With this first dam here, they created this lake. It's called Lake Winya. And it goes for miles back in there. And this is just the narrowest part. There's some really, really wide parts. Okay, that's the best view I could get from it because we're so far away from it. We're probably about a half a mile from there. Well, not quite. A quarter mile, I guess. I guess we're about a quarter mile from the dam right there, and that's the best view I can get. Because even if I was up close, I can't get a view like this. And from there... And that is the other dam. That one we're going to be able to get right to it. Should be able to get far enough away to get a good view of that one too. Okay, even though this dam is quite a bit smaller, that is a lot of water coming out of there. see uh, how it's flooding out uh, the little island of trees there. Okay, that's these two dams out here. Let's uh, head into town there and check that one out because, what was it, two days ago? I think it was two days ago, maybe three days ago. Uh, there was uh, two chutes open. I bet you they're pretty much all open right now. So let's go take a look at that. Well, they don't have them all open, but they have three of them open. So uh, let's get out there and take a listen to this.
that like bubble of water. There was people fishing there a week ago. They were standing there. And it's probably four to five foot above the surface of this water. And the river has raised or risen. I bet you the river has, is up about three feet because of the amount of water that's coming through here. Normally that concrete where you can see the waves coming to the top there, I think that's about three foot. And the water is usually about a foot or two below that, so you're looking at four to five feet, right? Something like that. Yeah, yeah. So that's a that's an update on our Thunder Bay River here and the amount of water coming through this uh, through dam systems is just tremendous. And if you fall in there, I don't think you're ever coming out of that. But uh, it just something I like looking at every year, and I thought maybe some of you would like to look at this too and hear the little bit of the sound of uh, the river here. And this is the best sound here. The other two I wasn't able to get a good sound out of, but this one is pretty good. So that is my update of the Thunder Bay River and our dam system. Uh, I just enjoy watching this in the springtime, and I thought others might enjoy this too, so I thought I'd share it with everybody. And I'm going to be sharing some other things uh, this summer coming up as we're doing things like I said I was going to and um, uh, well, I'm hoping to get started on some cleanups this weekend because it's supposed to be 50 60 somewhere around there we get a little bit of rain tomorrow I think but it's supposed to be like 50 degrees with rain so hopefully it'll get rid of a lot more piles of snow still got quite a bit of snow to go probably another week and the snow should be mostly all gone uh, I'm gonna have to move piles in a parking lot probably Saturday or Sunday so I'm going to get a little video of the, I mean, pushing them piles up and just get them off the parking lot so they got more room to park. And, and then that's going to be middle of May before I even get in there and get the snow, or after the snow melts, and get that cleaned up. So uh, that is going to be the end of my video for today. I thank you for watching and subscribing. If you could check the links out in the description box, it would be greatly appreciated. Everybody have a good evening, and we will see you at the next year.